But let's bring in right now a member of House Oversight and Accountability, Congressman Tim Burchett. Congressman, a pleasure to have you. Great to see you as always. Thank you, ma'am. Um, Thank you, ma'am. Jill Biden helping Joe off the stage last night, and then they kind of had a little after party. We'll play a little bit of what she was saying uh, to their supporters. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the facts. And let me ask the crowd, what did Trump do? Wow. Um, I want to get your reaction to what we just saw yeah. and what we're just hearing. We're hearing already now, Congressman, that some Democratic donors are backing out of Biden's fundraiser tonight in Manhattan with Elton John. Does he does he stay on? Is does his ego just keep him on the ticket here? And that's that's what's going to be what's going to be. Well. It was very Clinton-esque, I mean, the way they destroyed Joe Biden last night. I think what you're going to see is, is Gavin Newsom, as I've said, I think I stated on your show literally months ago, that he would, that, you know, Hollywood's going to recreate him. They owe him uh, during, for what he did during the strikes. But what I found most offensive during that was he said no Americans had lost their lives. Thirteen brave Americans lost when we... We capitulated in Afghanistan, and one of those, the very last one, Staff Sergeant Ryan Knauss. I see his name every morning when I leave my house in, in Knoxville, in Knox County, in, in beautiful Corrington, because it's named after him. He lost his life because Joe Biden's gutless and brainless State Department called off a brave Marine Corps sniper who had the suicide bomber in his sights, not once, but twice. They confirmed who he was. They knew what he looked like. They knew what he was carrying. And yet Joe Biden's administration blundered and cost those 13 Americans, brave Americans, their lives and three more later in, in different altercations. So I, I think the American public better be paying attention. We need to pray for our country because I'll tell you this, the world leaders are watching this. Our enemies are thinking, wow, we got seven months of mischief. And you better believe Gavin Newsom being at the, at the debates last night in Atlanta was not a mistake. Him meeting with the premier of China when he flew into California was not a mistake. This is exactly what they've been planning, and I've been calling this for months, and I think you're seeing it bear fruit. Congressman Birch had such powerful comments. Uh, really appreciate it, and you're right. He even checked his watch. Uh, we all remember that moment with Joe Biden um, during the dignified transfer. Um, obviously, we will watch and see what happens at today's uh, rally that he is expected to be at shortly. But you're right. On so many fronts, Americans are watching with a big decision to make. Appreciate your time, sir. Thank you for joining us here today. Thank you, ma'am. It's been a real pleasure. Folks, we're going to set.